Hello, I'm Charles, and I'm a beekeeper that loves old bee equipment, and today I want to talk about my personal bias for black plastic foundation. Uh, I want to talk about why I prefer it, why I do not prefer uh, some of the alternate choices out there, um, and, you know, why some people choose some of those other choices, because, you know, a lot of things can be a double-edged sword. Let's say you have chosen to use foundation instead of going foundationless. Well, you only have two real choices there. You can either use wax foundation or plastic foundation. Uh, there are many spirited debates online about which is better. Uh, I can say that both are a double-edged sword. I do have a little mix of both of them in my yard, but I do prefer plastic because it's just so much easier to pop a new plastic piece of foundation in there and reuse a frame. Uh, although I do acknowledge there is a heavy amount of plastic waste associated with plastic foundation. Uh, I tend to shy away from wax frames because they're a lot more labor intensive uh, to put them together. Uh, it's a whole topic for another video though. Among plastic foundation you'll find it in three colors. You'll find it in black, yellow, and white. I strongly prefer black and you may ask why is that? Why do you prefer black? For me, it's all about contrast. Eggs and larvae are white, while the black background really allows you to see exactly what you're looking at. And I have a lot of fellow beekeepers that I uh, work with and uh, chat with that really struggle to see those eggs. Uh, I know we all don't have the eyesight for those eggs. Uh, if you don't, it's a great thing you can use a magnifying glass for. Uh, don't be ashamed to use one or a pair of reading glasses. I had to do a little bit of research for this video because I did not know why do some beekeepers prefer white foundation. Um, it turns out that there's two reasons. One, it's so you can tell the difference between the different nectar sources that you're dealing with. Like here in Central Maryland, we have very light colored spring honey, which is tulip poplar, black locust, and clover, uh, while we have very dark goldenrod honey uh, in autumn. And if you have one of these white plastic pieces of foundation, it is a little bit transparent and light can pass through it easier. So you can examine the frame and you can tell, okay, this is predominantly the nectar source that I have. Uh, that allows them to really harvest them separately. That way they can have the different uh, variations of honey. Uh, the other reason is because they use it as a way to tell when is it time for me to change out this comb. Is it black to where that transparency does not come through anymore? Well, then it's time to change out that comb because it's too old and ratty. I asked some fellow beekeepers on why they prefer yellow plastic foundation and a lot of them answered with, well, it was what was cheapest at the time. Uh, I saw that on sale uh, or it just came with uh, my hive boxes. Uh, so I couldn't get a consistent answer on why some of them used yellow. Uh, I contacted both Daydant and Man Lake to ask, and both of them responded with uh, what I think is the genuine answer. Yellow is the balance between black foundation for contrast and white foundation for those perks that you can get with some of the transparency. Uh, looking at it, it's a little bit, it's significantly better than white when it comes to trying to get contrast, but really not much better and I don't really see much transparency in the yellow. So it, I think it's not gonna make either audience happy. Uh, it's just funny that, okay, there is a reason, but it manages to not make either party happy. Now here's something interesting. This is a sample of aluminum foundation, which I found inside of an old uh, book from Daydant from the 1940s. Uh, this sample has a tiny little sample size of that aluminum foundation. This existed briefly uh, before the ubiquity of plastics after World War II. Uh, this is something that would be way too expensive today to manufacture. 
So please tell me about your preferences, uh, why you have them. Uh, feel free to comment below. Uh, please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.